my YouTube beauties, it's me again, Brenda. Today I have my second BoxyCharm box for the month of November. So if you do not know, BoxyCharm is a beauty subscription box that arrives to your door for $25 a month, but you are supposed to get over $120 worth of items. And this is a beauty subscription box, so you'll be receiving things like makeup, makeup tools, skincare, it just depends. They always send different variations and they're always really nice. How do you say it? They're not gonna send you any rinky-dink items, okay? They're gonna be sending you some nice, well-known, most of the items are well-known cosmetic brands. If you have been watching my YouTube channel previously, then you know BoxyCharm is my most favorite beauty subscription box in the world. Yes, it is, baby. Always will be. And you know what? We're gonna get this baby open right now because this is my second box. Again, not sure why I'm getting two, but thank you, thank you, thank you. However it is that I am getting this, I thank you. The box looks like this, it has changed a bit. This box did used to be $21 a month, but they have upped the price a bit because they wanted to send bigger, you know, better items. The box looks like this now, and it is a little bit bigger. On here, it shows that I'm receiving variation 17. The first box that I received was variation 12. So this is definitely a different box. This paper is gonna tell me everything that I'm receiving in my box along with the description and the retail value. I love that they always send this along with the box. The items are always very nicely packed with this foamy deal there to protect your items uh, in transit. This month, BoxyCharm is sending out something like this to test out your shade so that you can go on to the website and let them know what shade best fits you because I believe they're going to be sending out concealers and makeup foundation type of items in the future. So I'm pretty excited. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I did receive another Caprice antioxidant dew quench and glow serum i did receive this in the very first box and i have tried it two days in a row it leaves a nice sticky film over your skin it hydrates your skin and your skin does look glowy but i wouldn't necessarily wear this on its own like on a bare face one no one will ever see me with a bare face outside of my house and two, I think it's too sticky to just kind of leave it be. Um, so what I've been using this as is actually priming. Um, so instead of primer, I've been using this. Now it does say that this item is an antioxidant dew quench and glow serum. I do find that it is moisturizing, but at the same time, to me, it feels like it leaves a, leaves a film over the skin, which I don't necessarily like. The good thing is, is that I'm using it as primer, so immediately I put on my base foundation, so I don't feel the stickiness anyways. You'd, I rather have a sticky primer anyway, but that's why this works for me. I have put this in my refrigerator because I like my primers to be cool when I put them on. So I've put this in my refrigerator and I'll be probably doing the same with this. This is a pricey item. So this is, it says use it as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe. $90. Not pesos, baby. Dollars. So this is a pricey item. The next item in here, which is something different from what I received in the first box, this is a milk makeup. Now, this milk makeup is a it's a holographic stick, a best-selling holographic cream highlighter stick packed with meteorite powder for a prismatic glow on cheeks, lips, and eyes. This retails for twenty-eight dollars. This is in the shade Stardust. So it comes in a little capsule like this. And then once you open it up, you twist the cap off and then it has another cap over this. So I'll give it, you see that? That's really nice. I will definitely try this in my next Get Ready With Me. So I do think that's very pretty. 
don't you think that's almost like that unicorn iridescency because it's kind of purple kind of pink don't know maybe it could be blue I like it. next item in here are these wander masks these are the Mackey Berry Antioxidant Sheet Masks, and I'm receiving two. It's called the Haru Haru Wonder Mackey Berry Antioxidant Mask Set, containing extracts of Mackey Berry. This mask provides your skin with, with antioxidants and anti-aging effects. Patent technology in this mask encourages healthy skin function like generation and targets many skin imperfections. The sheet mask is made from 100% pure cotton and non-chlorine bleaching process that allows a delicate touch with enhanced adherence with the skin. Uh, this retails for $9. I'm assuming it's for the, the set. So it'll be for $50. An intensive sheet mask that works to correct pigmentation, boost radiance, and deeply hydrate for brighter, even toner complexion. I'm excited to be receiving this because I do have a lot of dark spots. The next item in my box is from Dose of Colors and it is their liquid lipstick. Let's check it out. So this is in the shade Date Night and this is a bright red. So the other shade that I received in the first box was this uh, Dose of Colors, but it was in the shade Charm. So let's see what this... Yeah, it's a bright red. This is what it looks like. It's a very bright red. The other one that I received is also like a, but it's a deeper red. It's more of a vampy red. So... I have been getting a ton of red lippies. I'm glad to have another. I'm glad to have another dose of color because this formula is so good, you guys. I don't know about anyone, anyone else, but one of my top favorite lippies is from Stila, and this is next to Stila to me because this reminds me of it. This has no scent. It glides on very creamy. It, you can layer it on. It's not sheer, but you can layer it on for a more deeper tone. Um, it does dry matte and it's long wear. And then when it starts to fade away, it gradually fades away. It doesn't leave that big clown ring around the mouth like you're just you just have lip liner on it doesn't do that it gradually fades away and i really like that about this lippy so dose of color is one of the lipsticks that i do recommend now i did have someone ask about this lipstick that i'm wearing today i went ahead and popped it on so that i could show you this one is one of the steve laurent lippies and this one is in the shade bestie so Whoever asked me what lipstick I was wearing in the last get ready with me that I made, this is what I was wearing. And the next item, last item in the box that I'm receiving again is the Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics palette. And this is an eight shade palette. I've already done a look with this. I will link it here so that you could check it out after watching this video. And these these shades are highly pigmented but I did find that you definitely have to I would definitely recommend priming your lids with a nice base and then also applying a setting powder over your primer um, because these shades especially like the green one it will stain your eyelid so make sure you're using a primer let me get mine out so i've already created a look this is my eyeshadow that i've already used and these shades are very nicely pigmented they're beautiful they do end up blending nicely i did find this one difficult to blend out it almost disappeared but i realized that it was because this shade only goes on the lid nicely if it has a base to go on if you're gonna just put the shade on dry skin 
it's gonna be a while before it actually you actually see pigment and it's also gonna wear off easily so I would recommend using a primer and setting the canvas with setting powder so make sure you set your eyelid after priming it then going in with the shades this one and this one will definitely stay in your eyelid if you don't do that um, this looks like a very beautiful tur turquoise color but once you apply it onto the skin it's actually like almost green I'm not sure what that's all about on here it still looks kind of blue but the look that I made with it it ended up looking like a green a green shadow these are very beautiful shades personally would I go out of my way to purchase this no do I think I'm gonna be pulling this palette a lot for future looks probably because I do really like this shade and I would use this shade for a transition as well not so much this one or this one anymore but um, these all are very beautiful shades I made a very beautiful eye look with it so I mean if you do have it I definitely recommend you using it but make sure you, like I said you prime and you set if you don't want your eyelids to stain the price is $35 the total value of my box was that's a pretty good price guys so definitely excited about this um, love that I got another dose of colors I do want to grow my dose of color lippy collection so I'm very excited about this this I'll definitely use in my next get ready with me and I will be saving this as a backup primer everything in my beautiful boxy charm a uh, box for this month of November let me tell you a little bit about boxy charm because there was some stuff going on so boxy charm has this thing called pop-up and yesterday was okay so right now that I'm filming this it's Tuesday November 12th and it is about 8 30 p.m. This video is probably not going to be up until 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is going to be Wednesday, November 13th. Boxy Pop-Up is where you can actually go into BoxyCharm's website and shop on this website that only opens for a certain amount of time and you can get up to 80% off on a lot of different items. So it is a very good deal. They were having issues with the website. It was supposed to come up for those that were on the wait list for Boxy Lux or were Boxy Lux members already. And they were able, they were supposed to be able to access Boxy Pop Up early, which would have been on November 11th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But it came up for a little bit and then it crashed. According to what they're saying at BoxyCharm, it's because way too many people were really trying to get on the website because they know that there's going to be amazing deals. So today, again, they tried bringing it up and the website still was not able to be brought up. Now, to, now today we received a message saying... Hi guys, I'm here with Mel. Hey Charmers. So we're still working on the bug or the issue that we had yesterday on our pop-up. It's still on. I'm not having any news right now. I want to make sure that it's all corrected. The only news I have is tomorrow is choice for Boxy Charm. Tomorrow at 3 Eastern time, right? And if you're premium or premium waitlist or is it premium? Yeah, yeah, premium choice opens Monday the 18th. Premium choice opens Monday at 18, exactly. So you're going to be Monday at 12 Eastern time and tomorrow at 3. By then, by tomorrow, I will give you all the news. I might give you throughout the day we might give you throughout the day about papa but for now just let's keep it for tomorrow we want to make sure that there is not going to be any bad experience on the site we're still working on that it's uh, a couple of things you have to upgrade and that's uh, that's it so i'll see you tomorrow at 12 i mean three, three eastern time for, for choice. choice for boxy charm december exactly you guys Bye. know that december boxy charm choice opens tomorrow november 13th and boxy charm premium choice opens november 18th next monday so stay tuned on social for times so boxy charm choice opens up on wednesday november 13th at 3 p.m they're still working on boxy pop up 
they will be updating us tomorrow which tomorrow will be November 13th at 9 a.m. to tell us what time Boxy Pop-Up will be available. Those who that upgrade to Boxy Lux for Boxy Pop-Up early access don't need to worry. Those that upgraded after the December Boxy Lux Choice window closed on November 1st and before the Boxy Pop-Up early access opens will have the chance to make a choice for December's box via email and they say stay tuned. Boxy Charm Premium Choice Window Charmers, let's talk. The December Boxy Charm Premium Choice Window opens on Monday, November 18th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please stay tuned. This is all from Instagram and I'm getting this messages from Boxy Charm News. I just want to give you the most updated information because so many people were eager to get that, you know? And that's why the side crash. All right, guys, so don't forget, I will be leaving the link down below in the description area if you're not a BoxyCharm subscriber. If you're not a charmer yet, you can definitely use that link to sign up. I believe you'll be receiving an extra $45 item in your first box. Plus, you'll be helping me out because I they give me what they call charms, which is 500 points for each person that I do refer over to them. And those 500 points turn into $5 in my account, which I can then use in their charm room, which is a shopping room that they have to purchase products. Now, when you become a subscriber, you can do the same thing and offer your link to people to subscribe and then you'll start earning charms as well. And make sure you're reviewing your items because also reviewing items get you extra charms. So make sure you get all that done as well so that you can also get um, items from the charm room. Other than that, this is everything from today. I think... I will definitely get a good use out of the milk makeup stick. I can't wait to try this out. Like I said, I'm not one to usually use cream highlights, but this will be nice to try out. I'm very interested in using these to see if this helps at all. I think that for someone like me that has a lot of dark spots on the skin and does have a lot of hyperpigmentation and things of that nature, I think only to mask uh, I don't think the two masks is gonna make a big difference, but I, I will definitely use these. Um, I think with skincare, you have to give it quite a bit. You have to really have that regimen down and you really have to stay and stick with it for something to actually change. So I have a pretty good regimen as of now with my skincare and I have actually started seeing a difference. So. I'll see what happens if I do implement this uh, anytime soon. The Celestial Palette, like I said, I probably will not reach too much for this. Um, I did have an issue with the shade fading when I was blending it in. So this is a tricky palette. Beautiful shades, but it is kind of tricky to work with. You just have to be... You know have patience and have to be really on it for you to be able to create a nice look <sighs> would I purchase this I wouldn't purchase this palette I it's, it's just not something that I would purchase after testing it so I'm glad I have it but again you know that's the beauty of subscription boxes the Kypress serum I do have one bottle that I've started already and that's probably going to last me a good while because you only need a little bit of that and it spreads out evenly and nicely. It coats your entire skin so beautifully. It does give you that glow but like I said it's kind of like a film on your face. So um, like I said again with skincare you do have to use that product for a good while at least 30 to 45 days to actually see if it's doing anything to your skin so I cannot give you a 100% review experience on this item yet I can tell you that I did like the way my makeup applied over it so that is a plus the dose of color 
Like I said, I'm happy to receive this because I would love to have a Dose of Color Lippy collection going. So this is going to be like my fourth Dose of Color Lippy. So I'm happy for this box. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you received your box? Are you happy with your box? I mean, the value is freaking amazing. So if anything, I mean, this is a beautiful box. Like I said, they never disappoint no matter what. BoxyCharm is a good way to go if you want to build your collection. If you're new to makeup, BoxyCharm is a good way to go. You get such a nice variety of items and products and name brands that you, a lot of these end up being, you know, holy grails for some of us. So this is a wonderful way to learn of other cosmetic brands and to actually be able to review on your own uh, and experience these items. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd like to hear what you got in your box. What are you waiting for? What do you wish you had received? Are you happy with your BoxyCharm box? Have you received premium? That's another thing about premium. I was like one of the very first people that hurried up and logged on to get on that wait list for premium and I wasn't chosen to get the first round of premium boxes. I don't know what that was about, but you know, I tried to stay on top of it and I thought I had it, but I guess I didn't because I didn't get the premium box this month, but I'm happy with my two base BoxyCharm boxes. That's everything for today, you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Go ahead and push that notification bell if you would like to be notified every time I post a video. Share the video with anyone you think might enjoy. Share it on your social media platform so that our channel can continue to grow. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.